Okay, so today we're going to talk about sectors and arcs. And we find the length of an arc using this formula. At length of the arc is equal to A over 180 pi r. So it, where A is the measure of the arc, and if you remember, a central angle an arc length is the same measure as its central angle. So the length of this is equal to the measure of this central angle right here. So what we're finding is we're finding the circumference of a portion of an arc. So pretend we have a big pizza. When we find what the arc length is, we're finding the length of a, of a piece of the crust of a piece of pizza. We're just finding the outside part. Later when we find, when we talk about area of a sector, we're going to be talking about finding the whole area of that slice of pizza. So let's do some examples with length of an arc before we get into sector length. Okay, so find the arc length. So if you remember our formula, length is equal to a, which is the measure of this angle, well, it's the measure of this arc, which is also equal to the measure of this angle. So 180 over 180 pi times our radius. Well, if you remember, this is our diameter, and d is equal to 2 times r. So if you divide 14 by 2, you get r is equal to 7. So pi times 7. And that cancels to 1, so you get 7 pi is the length of this arc. Now, if you look, that's the same thing as us finding 1 half of the circumference of a circle. So if we were to find circumference, we would do 2 pi r. But since we're doing it only of half a circle, it would be one half pi r. Or I'm sorry, it wouldn't be one half. You divide two by two and you'd get one. And if you were to plug it in that way, you would also get seven pi. So we have another example. For this one, we're finding the length of this arc. So using our knowledge of circles, we know that a full circle equals 160 degrees. So if we want to find what the length of this arc is, we're just going to minus 45, and we get 315. So now we do L is equal to 315 over 180 times pi times our radius. So this is where I'm going to use the help of a calculator to make sure I get pretty exact answers. So I'm going to do 315 divided by 180 times 6 pi. And if you put that in the calculator, you get approximately 32.987. But if you wanted to give it a more exact answer, you could do 315 divided by 180 times 6 and then write it as L is equal to 10.5 pi. That's more exact. So now we're going to talk about sector area. So, a sec so a when we find sector area, we're finding the area of this region. So to do that, we have area equals A, which once again is just the measure of this angle or this arc over 360 pi r squared because if you remember pi r squared is the formula for area and when we only want part of the area of a circle we put this out front to tell us how much of it we're going to get so a is the measure of the arc and if you remember a central angle has a measure of a so let's do some examples now find sector area so we're finding the area of this whole circle. 
So there's 360 degrees in a circle. So 360 over 360 times pi r squared. That cancels to 1 and you just get 25 pi for your answer, which is the same thing as if we just use the plain old area formula, which is pi r squared, we'd still get 5 squared times pi, which is 25 pi. Because that's all we're doing, we're finding a portion of the area. So like I said, pretend this was a pizza, and you had this slice right here. When we find arc length, we find the length of this crust right here. When we find sector area, we find the area of the pizza, of the piece of pizza, like how much pizza is that out of the whole circle. Okay, so we have one more problem that we're going to do. So we're finding it of this arc. So A is equal to 200 over 360 radius squared times pi. So I'm going to type this into the calculator. 200 divided by 360 times 12 squared. So I get A is equal to 80 pi. And I'm going to leave it like that because that's more exact. So, oh, but we forgot to use units. So this would be inches squared because whenever we find an area, it's inches, it's units squared, and this is centimeters squared. So that's all we're doing with sector area and arc length today. But make sure you come back and watch the next lesson where we're going to talk about how to find the lengths of certain kinds of segments, like tangents and secants of a circle. So make sure you come and check that out.